Hello Impulse Control fans! I'm here to give you a quick demonstration on how to make a game that isn't natively supported for the Impulse Controller to be supported. Uh, I'm talking about a program called Blue Troll, that's short for Bluetooth Control. You get it from the Cydia store. And what it does is it allows you to take a game, let's say Space Junk, a game I'm pretty fond of. You can see that as of now, no controller is supporting it. Moving the joystick and pressing the buttons doesn't do anything. But what it does have is the annoying on-screen controls. So what happens is, is when you use these controls, you want to map them to these controls. What you do is you take a picture by pressing the power and the home key at the same time. Then you jump out of Space Junk, jump into Blue Troll. And when you first fire it up, it'll tell you, we've got no games yet. So you say, OK. And you press the little plus sign. And you pick a game. Now this will give you every game that's on your machine. I have quite a few. Uh, and I will find Space Junk. Now, I go to Screenshot, Landscape, and I pick that picture that I just took. And it defines it to this game. Now, controller configuration, I hit add, and they have just put impulse on the list, so it's now natively supported by this program. And I pick landscape from my controls. And what you see here is the joystick and button configuration of the impulse. And you simply put your finger on the joystick and you drag it to the joystick. And you pick which buttons you'd like to be represented by the on screen controls and drag them into place. And then you hit done. Now, I'm going to flip over outside of uh, Blue Troll here. Now jump back into Space Junk. Now if all goes well, I've got gas, shooting, directional, it works. Uh, another great way to, to get more and more games natively supported by this device on the games that you love. Hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for your support.